Today, I'll show you how to give your cursor a super cool trailing effect like this. No matter where you move the cursor on your site, a smooth, eye-catching trail will follow along. It's a fun way to make your website interactive and stand out from the crowd. By the way, you can fully customize the effect by changing the colors, making the trail longer or shorter, and much more. It's super easy to create, and all you need to do is paste a free code snippet, which I will leave in the description below. So, let's get started. Now, let's see how we can add a cursor trail effect to your site. But before we start, we need to install a free plugin called WP Code from the WordPress plugin library. So, go to the repository, look for WP Code, install and activate it. And this is what the dashboard looks like. So, just click on Add New, then choose the Add Custom Snippet option. Now we've got a bunch of different options here, but we need to use this universal snippet option as we want the cursor effect to be active on the entire website and not just specific pages. Okay, just click here and I'll change the snippet title to cursor trail effect. Now, just go to the description, copy the code and paste it here. Now activate the snippet by clicking here and then snip the snippet like this. All right, let's go to my site. When I refresh it here, you can see the trail is following the cursor movements and it looks amazing. Right now, the trail is blue, but you can change it to any other color you want or even increase or decrease its size or length. To do that, just go back to the code and here are a bunch of things that you can change. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Just go back to the code. Let's start with the dots or the trail length of the cursor effect. Right now it's set to 15, but you can change it to 10, 30 or anything else. Just make sure you don't get over 50 as it increases the number of dots for the cursor trail, which can really slow down your site. Other than that, you can change the trail position from here but I think it's more of an advanced option. So in general, I'll skip it. Finally, you can change the color from here. We've got three different components for the different RGB values. Basically, these are red, green, and blue values that give your cursor different colors. I've currently set it to this, but you can easily change it by changing the negative values here. You can get these values from a free website, which I'll leave in the description below. All you need to do is get the hex code of the color you want. So let's say I choose this color, and this is the hex code. I'll add the hex code here and click on convert. As you can see, these are the RGB values that we need to add to our code. Okay, here's the tricky part. So listen to me carefully. To change the R value, we should only change this value inside the bracket. Please do not change these values or you will not get your desired color. Okay, now to get the R value, open up your calculator and take this value, which is 255 minus the R value that you got, 181. Now, we should put 74 here. Repeat the same steps for green and blue value as well. And we are done. The color is set and all you need to do is save the snippet and the cursor color will be active on your site. And that's it. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.